Hello friends. We all know such a well-known car brand as Volkswagen. This brand is as ancient as some older ones, which trace their roots back to car production in the 1920s. However, the whole world learned about the Volkswagen brand in 1938. It is one of the brands that already belongs to the Volkswagen Group. The Volkswagen Group includes brands such as Audi, Skoda, Seat, and Rolls-Royce. For example, in 2007, 5,020,000 cars were sold under the Volkswagen brand. Most likely, these cars included other brands of the Volkswagen Group, such as Skoda. In the 1930s, the German industry mainly produced luxury cars, and most Germans could not afford to buy them as they were expensive. Therefore, Germans settled for motorcycles. However, there was a need for inexpensive, mass-produced cars. Brands like Mercedes tried to fill this niche. In 1931, Ferdinand Porsche, a renowned designer of powerful racing cars, pondered for a long time about creating a car that would appeal to the mass consumer and be affordable. Thus, a car was created that was called Volkswagen, from the word Volk, people. This car had a rear engine layout, air cooling, torsion suspension, and a rounded body. This car resembled a beetle in the shape of its body. However, to improve the car's aerodynamics, in 1931, Hitler demanded the creation of an inexpensive car for the people, capable of accommodating two adults and three children, and capable of accelerating to 100 km per hour. Kettler wanted cheap small cars to be available for sale in Germany, just like in the USA, and their cost not to exceed 990 Reichsmarks, approximately $400 at that time. In 1934, Ferdinand Porsche received an order from the National Socialist German Workers' Party to develop such a car. After two years of testing, a model called VWW3C was released in 1937. In 1938, in the New York Times newspaper, the car was even called the Beetle because of its external resemblance to a beetle. Soon it became clear that the company could not produce these cars at such a low price, and Hitler decided to sponsor the company and build a new plant. Based on Ferdinand Porsche's developments, the first cars appeared in 1936 under the name KDF Wagon. The body shape was also preserved. The round engine also remained in the rear. The prefix Volkswagen was not only used for people's cars at that time but also for other products. On May 28, 1938, the company Volkswagen GmbH was established. While the factory was being built, trial batches of cars were started. The DNR Benz plant eventually created a car with a flat monocoque floor that replaced the frame. They also installed a four-cylinder opposed engine with a volume of 985 cubic centimeters and independent torsion suspension on all wheels. In 1938, production of this car began at the Volkswagen plant in Wolfsburg. The war that broke out then prevented the production of only 13 cars at the new plant. Nevertheless, the car was liked by people from the ruling party, and even Hitler enjoyed driving it. On May 26, 1937, a factory was already being built in Wolfsburg, and before the war started, they managed to build several military vehicles. This car, known as the Cabriolet Vagina, had four doors, a square body, a rear-wheel drive, an interwheel self-locking differential, and independent suspension on all wheels. The wheels were 16 inches in diameter, and the ground clearance was 29 centimeters. Later, this car was equipped with a 25 horsepower engine with a volume of 1,000 cubic centimeters. This unpretentious engine worked in any climate conditions, at any temperature, and even if it was shot from a machine gun, it did not stop due to a pierced radiator because it simply did not have one. The maximum speed was 80 kilometers per hour. By the way, during Nazi Germany, unpaid labor was allegedly used in all factories. In 1948, the company even admitted that 15,000 slaves worked in German factories during the war. Many plants were bombed, occupied by the British, and what was left of these plants was serviced by German equipment. But ultimately, to prevent the destruction of the factories, a passenger car was invented, which was shown to the British. An order for 20,000 passenger cars was placed at the factory in 1646. The factory produced a thousand cars a month, and at that time, it was still in a dilapidated state, meaning the factory. In 1948, the director of the plant changed, and Heinrich Nordhoff took his place. The leadership underwent a complete change, 
hiring a staff of certified engineers, and the Volkswagen car was modernized in 1949. The Beetle began production in a new body, the convertible and limousine also improved interior equipment, and the interior itself was partially synchronized. By that time, a powerful Volkswagen sales network had been established, and technical service stations were created. Later, the head of the British automaker Rolls-Royce, Sir William Roos, visited the factory, stating that the Beetle would last a maximum of two more years. He mentioned that the Beetle was too ugly and too noisy. In 1948, Volkswagen became a symbol of Germany's recovery. Its model range was filled with the commercial vehicle Volkswagen Type 2 with an air-cooled 1,100 cubic centimeters engine installed in the rear. In 1965, the brand released a version with a payload of 1,000 kilograms, replacing the 1 and 2-liter engines with a 1.5-liter engine. By the end of 1968, only 50,000 cars were exported, while 15,000 were sold in Germany. In 1969, the factory was freed from British control and was fully transferred to the Federal Republic of Germany. In 1950, production recovery began at the factory, and in 1950, 100,000 cars were produced. By 1951, 500,000 had already been produced, and in 1955, the production of the millionth Volkswagen car was ceremoniously celebrated. At that time, the slogan, Volkswagen, it's a member of my family, was coined. Nevertheless, Volkswagen cars were reliable and rarely broke down. Since 1953, Volkswagen has been produced in other countries worldwide. In 1953 in Brazil, in 1956 in South Africa, in 1957 in Australia, and in 1964 in Mexico. By the way, in Mexico, since 1998, the Beetle has been produced, becoming a real hit of the season among Hollywood stars. In 1955, the sports coupe Volkswagen Carmen Ghia was released. When the Carmen firm was engaged in making bodies for these cars, Carmen is the firm that produces bodies, and Ghia is an Italian design firm. In 1955, the Volkswagen 1200 was modified, giving rise to the sporty coupe Carmen Ghia. In 1961, these three firms collaborated to update the lineup, creating the improved Volkswagen 1500 model with a sedan body in a new, larger engine. In 1965, the Audi company was acquired, leading to the formation of the Volkswagen Audi conglomerate. Skoda also joined this conglomerate. Currently, Audi is a subsidiary of Volkswagen, but it operates independently. Volkswagen joined forces, and their first joint product was the Volkswagen 411 in 1968, featuring a 1,600 cubic centimeters engine and an air cooling system. However, the public did not warmly receive this car, and in 1969, they missed the first front-wheel drive car with the Index K70. In 1975, in collaboration with Porsche, Volkswagen produced sports cars called Volkswagen Porsche 914 with four and six-cylinder engines with volumes of 1679 and 1991 cubic centimeters, respectively. In 1970, the VW Type 181, with a utilitarian open body resembling military vehicles, was introduced. In 1979, a military analog named Iltis was released. Now, let's return to the Beetle cars. Unlike the Beetle, the body panels of the Carmen Ghia sports car were welded, while the Beetle body was secured with bolts and nuts. However, welding was also done manually, impacting the car's cost. This car was positioned as a practical everyday vehicle and a stylish sports car. By the end of 1953, 10,000 such cars had been sold. During those years, there were many wealthy people, and if you go to the main street of your city and count the number of cars priced above $20,000, you will see that there are thousands of wealthy people in your city. The Carmen Ghia from Volkswagen had a 60 horsepower engine with a displacement of 1,584 cubic centimeters. In August 1957, Volkswagen introduced the Carmen Ghia convertible, and from 1961, the car received a wider radiator grille, more rounded taillights, and high set headlights. In the 1960s, Volkswagen decided to produce a new type of car using a monocoque body and began incorporating features such as an automatic transmission and an electronic fuel injection system. In 1971, the Super Beetle was introduced, 
distinguishing itself from the regular Beetle with McPherson strut suspension instead of the conventional torsion system. By the 1970s, the Beetle brand had become outdated and tiresome. Volkswagen was uncertain about what could replace this model. However, the merger with Audi ushered in a new era in development, giving rise to models such as the Passat, Golf, and Polo. Thanks to the introduction of a liquid cooling system borrowed from Audi, the very first car from Audi became the Volkswagen Passat, launched in 1973 and serving as an analog to the Audi 80. And mechanical components were borrowed from the Audi 80. The front was initially a three-door and two-door sedan. The early Passats had 1.3 and 1.5-liter engines with 55 and 75 horsepower, and starting from 1972, a 1.5-liter engine was also produced. After the global success of the third Forest Hart Coward film in 1974, the Volkswagen Scirocco was released. The design for it was conceived by the Italian designer Giorgetto Giugiaro. It was built on the platform with the future Golf and Carmen, but Golf itself also appeared in 1974 and was designed by the company's designers and developers. Thus, this front-wheel drive hatchback had a front-mounted, water-cooled engine. In general, the Golf became a legend for Volkswagen and a bestseller, becoming the world's best-selling car. As of 2012, 29 million Golf cars had been assembled. Golf remains one of the popular models to this day. Initially, Golf had three doors, but later a five-door hatchback and the variant wagon, 1993, as well as a convertible, 1979 and 2011, and a sedan known as Jetta, Vento, or Bora, were released. All these models were built on the Golf base and became prototypes or analogs in modified bodies. With the release of Golf, the era of the ugly Beetle came to an end. In 2003, the company revived this brand, similar to the revival of the Nokia 3310. Golf has survived seven generations and updates. A hybrid electric version was also released. In 1985, the new model Volkswagen Polo was introduced, which became the basis for the Derby model released in 1977. All these models, along with the Golf and Polo lineup, allowed the company to create its image and laid the foundation for successful sales of future models. In short, they earned respect, and, in simpler terms, the front-wheel drive Passat, released in 1973, is considered the progenitor of the new generation of Volkswagen. It was offered in various versions with engines ranging from 1297 to 1588 cubic centimeters. The very first Golf of 1974 reached 1 million cars in the first 30 months of production. The Golf 1, released in 1974, became an economical, reliable, and competitive car in the compact car class. Initially, the plant suffered losses of 800 million German marks, but thanks to the enormous demand for Golf, the plant covered all costs and losses by 1983. 1983, the new Golf 2 was released, followed by the Golf 3 in 1991. Both models maintained a high standard, and the Golf's reputation remained strong. Over 23 years, 17 million cars of all Golf generations were produced. In 1995, the Golf 3 became the best-selling car in Europe. In 1997, the new Golf 4 was introduced, with 60,000 orders received immediately. Concurrently, in 1985, the younger brother of the Golf, the Volkswagen Polo, was presented. The Polo became an affordable and practical car, further solidifying Volkswagen's reputation. In the 1990s, based on the Polo, Volkswagen created the Volkswagen Derby in Volkswagen Santana. Derby was a sedan with engines ranging from 840 to 1272 cubic centimeters. The Santana, released in 1981, was a modified Passat and became a new sedan. It featured a five-cylinder gasoline engine with a volume of 1.3 liters. From 1908 to 1005, the A5 assembly line produced cars according to the only three right and by city program. The recipient of the Ski Roku. However, in the 1100s, sales of Volkswagen in America declined as Japanese manufacturers entered the market with cheaper and equally competitive models. Since 1922, Volkswagen began collaborating with Seat, acquiring shares of the Spanish car manufacturer, and in 1990, it fully acquired Seat. By the way, the new Beetle line was also built on the Golf platform, 
including the variant model with a wagon body and a convertible. The third generation cars continue to be produced on the highway since 1993. Two variant synchro models with 2 liter and 2.9 liter engines have all wheel drive chassis. Polo models have been produced since 1994 in three door and five door hatchback bodies, as well as Polo Classic, a five door wagon. The engines are available in gasoline and diesel versions with volumes of 1 liter and 1.9 liters, with power ranging from 50 to 100 horsepower. Comfortable Volkswagen Vento first-generation families were equipped with four- and six-cylinder engines with volumes of 1.6 and 2.8 liters, with power ranging from 75 to 100 horsepower. The Chiron high-capacity wagon has been produced since 1995 in five- and seven-seat versions, on front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive chassis. Gasoline and diesel engines with a working volume of 1.9 and 2.8 liters have power ranging from 90 to 174 horsepower. Also, after 1996, they updated the lineup of new Passat cars. The 1998 models again resembled the Audi A4 and A6. By the way, they used more powerful engines from Audi with a longitudinal arrangement and a larger volume. Several variant synchro models are equipped with an all-wheel drive highway. In 1999, the Volkswagen Bora model was released. By the way, in 1999, the Volkswagen Group was established. It supplies parts and components for Audi and Volkswagen vehicles. In 1998, the new very small car, the Volkswagen Lupo, was launched. There are also models like Lupo Sport and Lupo GTI. In 1999, they released the Volkswagen Lupo, which consumed only 3 liters of diesel fuel per 100 kilometers. It became a leader in fuel efficiency. Besides, it is produced in Mexico, Brazil, and Argentina. In China, models such as Parati, Golf, Santana, built on the Golf basis, and previous generation Passat are produced. In 2002, the luxury sedan Phaeton was released. It was memorable as the first premium sedan with a V6 engine. This engine complies with the negative 5 euro emission standard and the power of Volkswagen in Mexico continues to produce cars with a 1.6 liter engine and 44 horsepower. Today, Volkswagen is the largest car manufacturer and supplier in the world. Volkswagen plants are located in 15 countries. Volkswagen vehicles are produced under the brands Volkswagen, Audi, Skoda, and Seat. Also, in 1998, Volkswagen acquired the Rolls-Royce brand. Besides passenger cars, Volkswagen also produces trucks, vans, and minibuses. And this is far from the entire history of Volkswagen cars. There is still a lot to tell because this car brand has a rich history. It's good that it has not changed its name and logo on cars since the distant 1930s, no matter what happened to it. That's all, friends. Give a like to video, and you are on the Unlimited Wisdom channel.